All right, so I know we've been talking for quite a bit, um, so I want to get to some fun rapid-fire questions before I ask one final question and then open it up for Q&A. So you'll notice all the panelists, you guys have panel, uh, paddles next to you that have yes on one side and no on the other. So I will ask you a question, and then you guys all hold up what you believe the answer to be yes or no, and we'll see if you guys all agree. So first question. Will the virtual office ever be completely replaced by the physical office? So will the virtual office ever completely replace the physical space? Everybody agrees? Wow. Okay. Next question. Has gamification been impactful at all on employee satisfaction and engagement if you are doing things with gamification? Somewhat? This is a not yet. Interesting. Not yet. So, so exactly. split. Hopefully, maybe. Yeah. Very interesting. Scenario. All right, next one. Does online collaboration play a big role at your organizations? Does everybody say yes? Yes. Okay. All right, next one. In 10 years' time, will freelancers outpace full-time employee hiring? In 10 years. In 10 years. In a decade. I can't see past two years in that one. Yeah, I'm like this too. Okay. Interesting. All right, next one. With emerging technology, are you going to look to broaden your talent searches beyond your local environment? Oh, of course. All they do. Yes. The hiring. Did I get it right? Yes. Next one. As pensions are completely phased out and 401ks become the norm, will contributions to 401ks become mandatory? I don't know. Yeah. Okay, interesting. Someone split. Will the oligarchical way of organizing companies go away? Oligarchical. We're going to see the oligarchies go away? The autocracy kind of thing. Uh, uh, yeah, the yeah, top guess. Yeah, I think yes. Yes. <laughs> Next question. In the future, are companies going to get rid of headquarters? Will everybody be headquarterless? I'm supposed to say yes. <laughs> Wherever the CEO sits. That's right. Whatever the CEO says. Wherever the CEO sits. Sorry, Lisa. Do the aesthetics of the physical workspace affect whether or not prospective employees want to work at your company? Easy. Yes. Easy peasy. Yes. Okay. Even I get that one. Will telepresence robots become mainstream as remote employees become more prevalent? Oh, God. They scare that. me. <laughs> yes, I know. Yeah. They scare me. <laughs> no, for everybody. Wow. Okay. They're creepy. creepy. They are creepy. It's creepy. It is yeah. creepy. Okay, so we, we have them. We and have them too. Uh, it's weird. they sneak up on you sometimes. <laughs> like you're in the hallway and then you say, hey, Fran, and you go, oh my God, right? They're pretty cool. Uh, we just need to work out the application of them. Yeah, mine's down by waist level. <laughs> Don't look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feed them snacks? I don't know what they're looking at. Go away. <laughs> Wrong angle. <laughs> All right, so before we open it up to the audience, because I have tons of questions I can ask, but I know I'm sure you guys were only probably asked some of your own questions. Uh, before we open it up to the audience, uh, maybe you guys can answer, five years from now, what do you foresee the new way of working looking like? So as you think about uh, IT or as you think about HR, and you look five years or beyond, how do you think your workplaces are going to change? What do you see being different? we've touched on so many of these things you know five years from now it's not going to matter where you hire the talent you're going to be just hiring the best talent for the job so it doesn't matter if they're here in the u.s or abroad everyone will be connected virtually but people are still going to want that physical connection uh that's what i see you know i uh i'm hesitant to put it out here i uh i think universities are going to be disrupted very soon um I, i think we're getting more and more clear with the level of training and what's really required in the future. And so I think more and more we're going to see dis, you know, disruption with the universities and uh, targeted training and learning for careers. 
I'm just going to add to that and add something else. The reason why I, want, I so believe that is that the cost of education is so outpaced the value it's providing right. and, the, okay. and the localization, the technology, and the skill set the companies are now supplementing. I, I don't think there's going to be a long plan for that. But it's all about choices for me. So I think that in the future, it's bring your own device, it's, it's pick your own benefits, it's pick where you work, and it's pick how you work. And the only thing to commit to is the work product that you need to deliver to support the business. So it's all about choice. We can't predict technology further. I mean, you, you probably can't even predict it for a year these days. It changes that much. From a technology point a viewpoint, I'm thinking the technology is going to be technology in a box. What is it you want to achieve? Okay, here's your box. So whether you're remote, whether you're in-house, you're like, it's almost like the old, old days. Anyone remember thin clients? Mm -hmm. Those old days of thin clients? A similar concept, but the power is in your hand. So I can take my office at night, I can go home, put it on my desk at home, and still be doing the same thing. I hope. I think we, we touched on some of this in, in some of the comments, and, and it goes in with some of the freelancer conversations, but more and more, it's going to be, everything will go, be around the work. So it's kind of, I think, what Kristen said, too, around the do the freelancer inside of my company, that every, it's not going to be about functional structure or geographic structure. Everything, the technology and the way we do things will be about work that has to get done today and then work that has to get done tomorrow and how do we come together and pull apart and come back together. And um, I think there's a blurring of boundaries that is happening right now. And if you think about kind of the the boundary of a company, those are gradually getting really fragmented. You know, I see how our employees are, are contributing in the community. I see how we're supporting their personal lives. I actually think that learning is going to happen inside and outside. We're going to send our employees out to other companies, potentially, to get an, an, a career experience in some other place and come back to the company potentially with educational institutions as well, with community groups. And even inside the function, inside the company, I see functions are blurring. You know, the work that we're doing in HR is overlapping what's being done in communications and PR and our music makers group and corporate social responsibility. Like, all those things are just starting to mingle, and it's going to get yeah. more and more mingled. And I have... One or two more little paddle questions for you that I'm thinking up that are not on the jive list, so I hope nobody uh -oh. jive yells at me. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Yeah. Yeah. Ready to rumble. Do you see employee tenure shrinking at your organizations currently? Is it shrinking? Currently. Is it unchanged? Currently. currently. Are you seeing it actually shrinking? Interesting. It's Mix. already shrunk. Already shrunk at you. Uh, no, it's already yeah. you know, small, so I don't yeah. see it shrinking. Do you think the HR title is going to disappear? Uh, well, I ask because if you notice, there are some chief people officers and there are some chief human resource officer titles. So do you think the actual title of human resources of HR will disappear and turn into something else? Not that the role will vanish. We hope so. Interesting. Okay, great.